Should I use box jumps? They're just a training tool, but can be beneficial when they're used the right way. I thought it was pretty good. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it again another time. Well, serious question. Should I use box jumps? I get this question a lot. And box jumps are they're so easy to dislike for some reason, but they're also really, really a useful tool. So let me just tell you first off why people don't like box jumps. And we've probably all seen the videos before. Someone jumps on a box that's like, I don't know, 20 feet high. No, not 20 feet. Um, really tall box and they jump and they land in a way that maybe isn't the most safe way to land. And you go, wow, that's a really dangerous, stupid exercise. If you want to just jump really high, just jump in place. You don't need to jump on something. And there's an argument against that actually, and we'll get to it. But that's why people don't like box jumps. They think it's almost uselessly dangerous to just jump on something. But I'll argue the opposite. I think box jumps are the most misunderstood tool in all of strength and conditioning, right? Because we see these people on, on the YouTubes and the Instagrams and the social medias doing box jumps while well, kind of in ridiculous ways. And maybe you're just more for show than go. But box jumps offer some really cool, unique stimuli. One of the things about box jumps is the fact you actually have to jump on something. That's reason number one. Having to jump on something gives you a tangible goal. It changed what we call the cueing from internal, our brain, I just want to jump really high, to I'm going to jump on that thing. And it adds a level of excitement, right? It's like, oh, cool, I get to jump on something today. So number one, it's, it's exciting. It adds some fun and some enjoyment, and that's a good thing because that can evoke higher training outcomes when you actually are excited about training. Number two is that you can actually use the box to reduce the amount of ground impact. So by jumping on a box, you don't actually have to land, right? You can go up and what must go up must come down, kind of, because you can land on a box and step down. So you're actually reducing the ground impacts on it. Number three reason is it's actually a really easy way to see if you're getting better. Are you landing on a given box more easily than before? For example, if I have a 30 inch box and I jump on it routinely, well, eventually if I'm jumping higher, it'll become easier to jump on that box. Maybe you'll land with more and more of a straight leg position. Then you can easily have a pretty tangible, not super scientifically objective, but a pretty accurate subjective, pseudo objective measurement to see whether or not you're actually getting better. Now, just jumping on a higher and higher box isn't always the best way to assess that because you're like, well, look, I might be getting better at tucking my knees or just jumping on really tall things because I can manipulate my body position. But by jumping on the same box, the same height, you can assess that. So number one, again, is it's exciting. And number two is that you can modify ground impacts. And number three, it's easy actually to track your progress. And I'll give a little caveat. I think box jumps should be done in a way where you can land safely, right? That's the most optimal way to do it. In my opinion, it should be challenging enough to be like, yes, I want to do this. This is exciting. And it's going to uh, force me to actually produce a good effort because I want to land on the box. But you also want to make sure you're clearing the box with enough box, well, enough height. So um, again, it shouldn't be so uh, teetering on the edge of can I or can I not land on this, but it should be enough of a challenge to excite you. Oh, that's pretty cool. I want to jump on it. Um, but not to the point where, you know, you don't have any wiggle room for how you actually land. And so I think box jumps are a great tool. I, I think they're really useful and something that can be used. I use it in my programming quite a bit and can be used in training because you can do all different kinds of jumps, depth jumps, approach jumps, hop jumps, regular jumps onto the box as long as you make sure the box is being used appropriately. So here's a short video of actually me doing some reps so you can see me doing some box jumps and how I like to do them. And you can see, I want you to notice two things. One, the box isn't ridiculously tall. And then number two is that I'm able to clear the box pretty safely. I guess 2B, if that is 2A, if I'm breaking this down, maybe a third one, is that it's high enough that it challenges me. It's not like a 12 inch box. It's a, it's a tall enough box that challenges me and adds some excitement to training. Uh, so that's my take on it. So if you guys like this video, subscribe. 
comment below, give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Let's go check out some reps of me doing it. And I hope you all enjoy and appreciate y'all listening.